first ever major international competition held right here at figure skating. Medals on the line for the top ladies. So stepping onto the ice, I want to take you back to Sochi and the Olympics not that long ago, a few seasons ago. Look at this with the hat. Yulia Lipnitskaya, one of the heroes, led them to a gold in the team competition, overnight sensation, star across the country. Her coach said she just didn't hold up to the pressure in the individual event. She came in fifth. And then, guys, it got even worse last year. She fell all the way to ninth in the Russian National Championships and has said recently, I'm always amazed at people's elation to dance on other people's bones, but they rejoice too early. I will not give up so fast. It starts right now. Didn't make it to the Worlds, didn't make it to Europeans last year. Now 17 years of age from Moscow, currently in fifth. What a difference a year can make. In practice, her skating is barely recognizable this season. She's hesitant going into all her triples. She pulled it out in the short program, but this free skate is a lot longer. She had trouble on that triple flip in the short program and again here in the free skate. Single jump, she was going for a triple Lutz. She doesn't have a triple triple planned. It's crazy to think in 2014 at the Olympics, this girl was known for her triple triples. And she's barely hitting just single triples. This is, I can't hear myself at all. It's you guys know it as well as anyone, how quickly things change and how quickly they can disappear in this sport. I mean, she was on top of the world in Sochi. And, and even during that short time, remember, from the team competition to the individual event, she got so much attention that it started to change her. And this is according to her coach, Terry Tuparitze. And now back to what you said in the on-camera, the fact that those two, Medvedeva and Lipnitskaya, share a coach and practice together. I mean, it has to be the most difficult thing to go overnight as a sensation from short program to long program essentially like in Sochi and Yulia has been growing she's had to you know deal with your body growing your mentality growing your skating growing and all of that under the watchful eye of an entire country it's a hard thing to do all the things we loved about her in Sochi are still there the flexibility the spins the that little punam but those jumps are just failing her, and it's because she's trying to use the technique of when she was a tiny little thing, which she isn't anymore. She's got a woman's body now. You have to change and roll with the punches. My thing is also completely messed up. My
incredible flexibility, but still, those spins aren't as victorious without the jumps, without the performance. But Johnny, she barely got through the program. Her coach said, what was their goal here? Just to get through the program because she's that afraid to skate and compete now. And has had success on the Grand Prix in the past, too. A couple of medals last year. Got to the Grand Prix final again. Top six at the end of this series around the globe. Make it there. We'll see if she has a chance. Yulia Lipnitskaya from Russia. Next up on the ice, the 16-year-old from Fremont, California, Karen Chen, just getting things started on the senior level, but did so in the big way last year. Take a look at what people are saying about today's competition, Realtor.com, real-time update. So the Instagram from Karen Chen with her credential, and Christy Yamaguchi has been a big influence on her skating, her life, sends this back. Best of luck, Karen. Same hometown, those two. That was the Realtor.com real-time update. What a moment for her, huh? At the Nationals last year, she surprised so many people capturing the bronze medal. So they wait for the numbers right now for Yulia Lipnitskaya as Karen Chen warms up in the kiss and cry. I mean, what must be going through her mind and what must they be talking about? The, the disappointment scores, must be unreal, and I'm sure flashbacks to when this was Yulia a very different story two years Russia ago. Has earned for her free skating program 108.39, giving her a combined total score of 170.63. So you get the technical elements and the program components, the old artistic numbers. And just to put that in perspective, that 108.39, her personal best is a 141 and change. Not even close. 